Hi, good morning. Welcome to Mayflower. Now we are doing the chapter after the hanging written by Omi Vijayan. We have already done its Malayalam version. Now we are discussing the topic. It is a short story. This is a famous short story written by Omi Vijayan. Kadal Tiratta. Its Malayalam version is Kadal Tiratta. Its Malayalam title is Kadal Tiratta. And the author himself translated this short story in English and the title is After the Hanging. Here Ovi Vijan is a famous Malayalam writer, he is a modern writer, he is a prominent uh, pioneering figure in modernism in Malayalam literature. And uh, uh, he is very famous as a writer and the most important work is Hasak in the Ibihasa. And the other important works are uh, The Infinity of Grace, The Path of the Prophet, Then Generations, uh, Madhuram Gayadi, and The Saga of Dharmaguri. Most of his stories are translated into English and the author himself had done all the translations. Here, the story after the hanging, it starts with a journey. Here the prominent character or the protagonist is Velayapan. He is an aged man and he is making a travel to Kanu Central Jail. And that journey, uh, his journey is described here. The story opens with a melancholic note of lingering grief and the sad sound of ritualistic mourning. Ritualistic mourning. Mourning means here a crying or in this village there exists a crying or sadness because Valayapan's sadness is lingering in almost all the villages or in all the homes, all the houses. Here the Valayapan is the representative of uh, the villagers and uh, in this village we can see the innocence and cooperation. So the sadness of Valayapan is the sadness of all the villages. Here, Velayapan, uh, we have already discussed that Velayapan is making a journey to Kandu Central Jail. And in that Central Jail, his son Kanduni, the name of his son is Kanduni, and he is awaiting death. That means he uh, is uh, punished. And he got a capital punishment and he is awaiting death in Kandu Central Jail. And uh, the villagers are very poor. And the villagers say that they, or the villagers are very poor and these villagers thought that if they have enough money, they will accompany Velayapan. Hmm? These villagers are very poor. That is why they cannot accompany Velayapan. If they have enough money, they will surely follow Velayapan. But here, these people are very poor and uh, uh, during his journey or while he was preparing for the journey, his wife needed a packet of rice. His wife gave him a bundle of needed rice for the journey. And he started the journey while he was moving forward. He can see black palms moving in the leaves. And at that time, he thought that it was his forefathers who are talking to him. Huh? While uh, the black palms are moving, he thought that it is an important short question. Uh, while his uh, while these black palms are moving or moving in the wind, he thought that it was his forefathers who were talking to him. And uh, he goes forward and at that time he sees a village man named Kutti Hassan. Kutti Hassan is his close friend and uh, Velayapan borrowed 15 silvers from Kutti Hassan. Now Velayapan reminds him of his debts and as a replay, Kutti Hassan sees that uh, we cannot repay all our debts and then we can leave it to God. That is his reply. And uh, uh, they are talking nothing more. And after that, he is moving forward. And uh, on the way, he sees Neely. Neely is a lotus and uh, she has a bundle of cloths. She has a bundle of cloths on her head. And uh, uh, Neely sees Velayapan, both of them. Uh, calls each other. Neely calls Velayapa. Then as a reply, Velayapan says Neely. And nothing more. These two words are there. 
and there is no other words but there comes the emotions and both of them shared the sadness of the life and the uh, Neil gave way to a life and he moves forward and while uh, he was moving forward he has to cross a river and uh, while he was crossing the river a lot of memories came in his mind in order to reach the railway station he has to cross a river and while he was crossing the river he a lot of memories came in his mind he was in the middle of the river and he was a little bit overwhelmed by the expanse of water and at that time he remembers the batting of his father's corpse then the swimming of his vigil son etc and then such memories came into his mind and he began to wept and after that he crossed the river and reached the railway station and he took the ticket to Kalu Central Jail and he was waiting for the train while he was waiting for the train a passenger an aged passenger came and he began to converse with Velayapan and he asked Velayapan where are you going and Velayapan said I am going to Kalu and for what purpose are you going to Kalu and are you working there etc and uh, here well i can keep small he is not ready to talk or he is not ready to continue the conversation and at last a train arrived and the passenger went in after a short while the train arrived and the well i can got in there was a heavy rush in the train and uh, the train reached kalu central jail at the dock then it was a night train and during the journey we can see only darkness and at dawn uh, the light and reach the kalu central jail he was moving forward he can see a lot of horsemen there and the uh, light and asked the which is the way to the central jail and at that time the people or the horsemen began to mock at the light and and one of the horsemen said uh Hey, old man! If you want to go to the central jail, you may please do some crimes. Then you can surely go to the central jail. And after such mocking, he moved forward. And at that time, there is a guard on the gate. And this guard asked him. He was so irritated. And at that time, the guard asked him, "Who told you to come so early?" And the light and said, "My son is here. Huh? I came to see my son." my son is here and the guard he was it was uh, early morning it was dawn uh, or early morning and at that time uh, they are uh, these people are in a sleepy mood so they are not ready to accept your life and the uh, life is not educated also and uh, he is a village man and at that time he began to feel just like a child The guard was so irritated, and he again asked, "What brings you here so early in the morning? Huh? It is very early in the morning, and uh, what brings you here in this time?" And at this time, the lion opened his bundle and took a crumpled yellowish paper and showed it to the guard. And uh, he said, "My son is here. Huh? My son is here in this jail." And uh, this guard. I read this paper, and at that time his hostile face became a soft face. And uh, he asked Velayapan, "Just wait till the office is open. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you just wait here till the office is open." And uh, here Velayapan began to wait for the opening of the office. And during the, his wait. the guard again came and asked him do you want or do you need a cup of coffee well i can reply no huh? i don't want any coffee or tea then he uh, continued his waiting when the office was opened a person came and he took the guard open to the cell to the cell where kanduni was there and uh, that is a strange or a rare moment Here is a meeting of the father and the son, and Kanduni saw Malayapan through the bars. He began to cry 
when he was seeing his father, Kanduni began to cry and said, Appa, oh father. Valayapan replied, Son, my son, Kanduni. And at that time, uh, Valayapan again asked, Son, did you kill anyone? Huh? The people said that you are uh, or you killed the person. Huh? Did you kill anyone? Uh, Kanduni replied, I don't know, father. Huh? I have no memory. Malayapan again asked, Can you remember anything? Kanduni said, No, father, I have no such memory. Huh? I don't remember anything. Then Kanduni began to cry, Father, never let me hang. Huh? Never gave me to the officers. Please let me go. Huh? Please ask them to let me go. The man returned and informed them, time is over and took Velayapan out of place. And uh, Velayapan began to wait. He began to wait on the bench. And at that time, time is moving forward. Velayapan began to remember a lot of things. The childhood days of Kaduni, then his own childhood days, then the his own village, etc. All thoughts or all memories came into his mind. He also remembers uh, his own childhood days. Next morning, he hears the sound or the sound of bangles or the sound of bell, and he realizes that it is the death ceremonies or death ceremonies. Uh, the process is going on inside the jail and uh, his son got capital punishment. And it is this uh, sound that he is hearing. And at that time he is a village man and he is a peasant and he can realize the moving of time or the correct time. And he realizes that it is 5 o'clock and uh, everything is over. His son is dead. He received the body of his son just like a midwife receiving a baby. This is also very important. It is an important short question. Then he received the body of Kanduni just like a midwife receiving a baby. And what is your plan about the funeral? The guards began to ask. Huh? The guards came and they began to ask, what is your future plans? Huh? Do you bring the body to the village? Huh? Don't you want the body? The villagers or the guards asked, huh? Do you want the body? I have no money. The life and such, sir. I have no money. Huh? So I don't want the body because I have no money. Then in a trolley, the body was taken out of the uh, city or outside of the city and uh, a deserted marshy land is there and the body is began to bury in that place. And the scavengers, the scavengers means the trolley pullers, they began to bury Kanduni's body and at last Malayapan saw his son's face and he put his uh, palm on his forehead and his forehead was in a cool state. Malayapan put his palm on Kanduni's forehead just like a blessing. This is the last scene and the, the scavengers or the trolley pullers uh, began to bury Kanduni's body. After the burial, Malayapan reached the beach and he was so excited to see the ocean. Now he became aware of the needed rice that is on his shoulder and he began to open the rice and scatter it on the sand as a sacrifice. And at that time, uh, it, uh, it is a symbol. It is a symbol of sacrifice and uh, represent. And at this time, a lot of crows descended from the sky. Uh, and they began to receive this offering just like uh, the incarnate souls of the forefathers. The last scene is very emotional and intense. Valayapan is a poor farmer and he is unable to bring the body of his son Kanduni to his village because he has no money. Uh, and uh, at last he offered the needed rice as an offering to uh, Kanduni and at that time 
a lot of crows came from the sky and uh, these crows received the offering of the Bible. Here in the story we can see the alienation and estrangement of the Lyapan and also the journey is a metaphor. Here the journey of the Lyapan is a metaphor for life itself. Life is a journey of having sorrows and happiness and here we can see the journey as a journey of life. Then we can see uh, another theme, the mechanical handling of justice. During the colonial period, anyone can be arrested without any reason and it is evident from Katumi's words. Okay, that's all. This is the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.